Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? Elliot Hall's here once again. Today I'm downtown, taking a walk downtown, downtown St. Petersburg, because I just got back from the dentist. Got my teeth all cleaned up. See that? Check that out. Uh, you might also notice I had my silver fillings removed uh, during my hiatus from YouTube. I had some dental work done. I take dental work pretty seriously, mainly because my father grew up in Belize. So my parents are from Belize. Third world country, third world conditions, man. My dad would always talk about how if you didn't take care of your teeth, like the people in this country where basically there was no, there wasn't a lot of dental care. And even if you could afford it, uh, you were in a minority. So he grew up without dental care. And he, re he remembers seeing adults, even himself as a kid growing up, teeth would go bad, teeth would rot gums will go bad and um and when your teeth go bad and your mouth starts to rot your whole body begins to rot people don't think about it that way but your mouth is the gateway to your digestive system and your digestive system is key to your immunity right from the rooter to the tutor you got to take care of people think you know your digestive system is just your belly and your gut you know we started thinking about our intestines recently with regard to the bacteria content and probiotics and the immune system, but everything from your mouth to your butthole, your anus, your uh, the health of your rectum is linked to the, your prostate health. Your your rectum is right there by your prostate. So my point is that we take for granted what health really is, but we leave certain things in the shadow, like our mouths and our rectums. Those are those are key gateways to our health, right? We can't ignore it. A lot of noise down here today. If you look around, you can tell I'm in a different part of town right now. Look at this. A little different than where you saw me walking yesterday. Yesterday I was out by my office. Today I'm downtown where I like to walk when I'm uh, just gonna go meditate or I'm gonna do my daily walk. When I was doing my daily walk, I would come down here and as you can see why, it's fucking beautiful. And apparently there's a fire or something. Oh, he's coming our way. Sirens, that's one thing you could expect when you live in society, right? We live in civilization, we live in society. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep walking down here by uh, the, the Salvador Dali Museum. If you guys are not familiar with the art of Salvador Dali, go check it out. The guy was eccentric. Anyway, so we're talking about the health of the mouth. We're talking about how it links to your to your digestive health and how if you have a nasty mouth with... I say nasty, look, dudes, like, don't take it personally. The fact is that nastiness means that you don't brush regularly. You don't floss regularly. You don't get regular cleanings and checkups. And you got food from last week stuck between your teeth. And if you ever floss... Go like a week or two without flossing and then floss, and then you put those little strings through your teeth. The smell that comes out is like putrefaction. It's nasty. So yes, it stinks if you have a nasty mouth, and it makes you sick if you have a nasty mouth. So those of you guys suffering with health, or if you're not a, uh, you ain't making gains you want to make, it, right? Think about it. You might not think about this. People don't think about this, but if you're not getting the gains that you want in the gym, the health of your mouth could be extrinsically linked to that. Your digestive system is compromised. The food that you're eating is not being digested properly. You've got overgrowth of bacteria in your gut because your mouth is full of muck. So I think I made my point today. Take care of your teeth, kids. Take care of your mouth. Another thing I wanted to talk to you guys today about is uh, I got a question here from one of our friends. He sent me a Facebook question or a YouTube question. And in the question, he uh, he kind of relates to some of the things I've been talking about or I spoke about a few weeks ago with regard to dress and how when I first moved down to Florida, I, shit, much less having money for getting my teeth fixed. I never got my teeth taken care of when I first moved down here. It took me about five, six years before I had enough money to go to get make sure my teeth were taken care of. But my father kept reminding me, he said, when you get a little bit of money, the first thing you do is go get your teeth fixed. Go get your teeth taken care of. Take care of your mouth. So as soon as I got a little bit of money 
instead of spending it on clothes and cars, I spent, I spent it on my health, like I tell you guys all the time. I take good care of my health. So I spent my money on on uh, getting my teeth fixed, getting my feet, teeth clean, taken care of. Health is a priority. Health is a core value. I make health rituals a part of my day, part of my lifestyle. But anyway, our friend relates to what I spoke about a, a couple of days ago with regard to, you know, not spending on clothing. You know, when, you, when, you, when you're serious about your core values, when you're hardcore on your mission, and when you're doing your thing, you got to take care of your health and you got to take care of your mission. My family's my mission. My health is my mission. My work is my mission. But at the same time, you got to remember we do live in society. Look, and our and our brother, look at all these people. You know? Look at all these things. Look at look at all the nice things civilization has to bring us. So we, we do want to live here. And our friend who sends a question in about going cheap on his clothes and wearing bummy ass clothing, he says, yeah, I, recently I've been wearing real bummy clothing, not clothing, and not really giving a fuck. He's in college. Man, this is beautiful. He's in college, and he's getting ready to go to grad school, I believe, for neuroscience. So he's a pretty brilliant dude. He's a smart dude. Look how beautiful that is. Apparently, they're doing some kind of event here. See behind me? So I'm, I can't walk that way, but that's the direction of the sun. So I'm just going to stand here and talk to you guys. Maybe I'll do that. I don't want to... Here's the thing. I got my stick if I reach it over the water I'm scared it might fall into the water so I won't do that I'll just stand back here so he says yeah I go pretty nasty on my clothing because I realize it's not a major core value of mine it really you know it's not something I care much about especially since I'm college I'm studying to go to grad school so fuck it but then he realizes that people are not treating him right that's what he says he's like I'm, I wear baggy sweatpants and whatnot but People are, you know, not giving me the respect that I think I'm due. Women are not paying attention to me. Dudes don't respect me the way, you know, a, a neuroscientist should be respected. So he's like, yo, how do I reconcile that? How do I reconcile, you know, realizing that fashion clothing is not a core value of mine, but still get the respect and admiration and love that I deserve for being an awesome dude. So, you know, I stand here. In the downtown area of a nice small city where I live. And it reminds me that we're not alone. It reminds me that there were people that got here before I got here. Uh, it reminds me that all this beauty, all the nice things that civilization can afford, iPhones, right, that I'm talking to you on, this, the paved streets, the cars, the buildings, the boats that are on the other side of the camera, they all come from other people, right? So. The attitude that I don't care what anybody thinks, I don't care what anybody says, I don't care what anybody does, is great for protecting yourself from when you should be protecting yourself. You know, there are times when you've got to, you got to be a, a staunch, self-reliant libertarian. You got to see things fit for yourself and you got to do what's right for you and your mission. But at the same time, we've got to balance that with the fact that we've chosen this day, age, time, and place. This is my conviction. We choose our circumstances by which we become born into. The circumstances that we show up in this, this life with. You chose to show up in civilization. That means you're going to have to play by some of the rules. And if you choose not to play by the rules, you're just gonna simply pay the price. And if you want to uh, have the luxury of people looking at you a certain way, you know, with admiration and respect, and you got to dress respectfully. That's really, that's really the long and short of it. And now it sounds shallow because it is, but people can't see your depths. People can't see how beautiful you are. People can't see the your heart on the outside. All they can see is your out, your outside, and you got to respect that. Unless someone is sensitive enough to feel your vibrations, which most of us are not, to feel your goodness, to sense your dignity, to sense your self-esteem, rather than see it on your clothes or see it on your face. Unless that was the case, uh, we're kind of trapped. Our outside 
sends vibrations into the insides of other people. People judge you. You will be judged by the clothing that you wear. I think a part of successful living also is, uh, is deciding what kind of judgments we're willing to accept. Right? People, gonna, people judge me. When I was 250 pounds with a mohawk and wore nothing but black strength camp t-shirts and uh, carried a scowl on my face you know, 10 years ago when I was being that person and people judged me accordingly, I had to be all right with it. I had to be like, yeah, that's, <laughs> I get it. I know. I can't go into this building. I can't attend this function. I can't speak to these people because they're going to have a hard time receiving me the way I look. But I was okay with it. You see, you got to be okay with it. If you're dressing like a fucking bum and you okay with it, then that's fine. Hey, look, if you got a nasty mouth full of rotten teeth and you okay with it, then that's fine. That's really the only question that matters, uh, to, to, to be completely honest. These videos are actually like kind of stream of consciousness rants, so I might contradict myself or talk in circles, but it's really just me thinking out loud. So dealing with other people in civilization means dealing with people on the peripheral level, dealing with people on your on your outside, because that's really where you show up and that's really where you receive people. You, Regardless of how righteous you are in your judgments of people or you believe, you're going to judge people by the way they look. You do it. I do it. Human beings do it. It's a survival mechanism. We did it so that we could judge whether or not a person, place, or circumstance is safe for us. So you gotta, you have to be with that. You have to be all right with that. And then you gotta check it in yourself too. You gotta recognize like, yo, you are judging. You're a judging machine. I am a judgment machine. We're a judgment mechanism. So recognize when judgments are snap judgments based on past experiences and prejudice, or, uh, or is it a deep sense judgment of someone, right? I don't like this person. Like I spoke about yesterday. Some people, man, it's a deep judgment. I just don't, it irks me, it hurts my feelings when I see him. And that requires that we take a look at ourselves. It's always about ourselves. So my man, I don't know if this video is of any, of any help. I enjoy making these videos. I don't know if that's of any help, my man. I'm gonna walk this way because the sun is this way. But, let me wrap it up this way. When I'm walking with my camera and my iPhone, silly stick here. My, my thoughts aren't as concentrated as when I'm in the office or at the gym just, you know, rapping with you on the camera. So hope you guys don't, don't mind. Let me see if I can wrap it up for you this way, bro. You're going to dress like a bum. That's okay as long as you're okay with that. If other people are going to judge you based on the way you judge, the, by the way you, way you dress, then you got to be okay with the way they're judging you because they're going to do it. If you want to get a different response from the people, you might have to ask yourself, what can I do to get in accordance with what their expectations of me are? And am I willing to take that step? Am I willing to be what they want me to be in order to get what I want? Sometimes it requires a tremendous amount of humility to get what you want. You might have to quote unquote sell out, right? What does that actually mean? Who, you know, that word sell out is funny because you wearing a uniform to go to your job at the supermarket. Are you a sellout because you're wearing a uniform that the man expected you to wear, right? All you guys who like to talk about people who sold out because maybe they got on a different uniform. Maybe they're thinking different thoughts. Maybe they're doing different things. Well, hey, when you get that new job at the office, right? And you got to put on a suit and tie. Did you just sell out, right? You would like to wear your shorts with the holes in it and your, and your favorite baseball team t-shirt. But now you got to put on the tie. Are you a sellout? It's all about how you look at it. It's all about your the, the way you choose to the way you choose to look at it. So you could sell out, right? You could call this out. People tell me I'm sell out. Look, because I'm not wearing a strength camp camo T-shirt no more. I still have my strength camp camos. They're just I sleep in them. I got on I got on kitty shirts. <laughs> I like to wear fucking kitty shirts and people judge me with my kitty shirts and my short shorts. Huh? I like to wear short shorts and kitty shirts. And people judge. Y'all are judging me right now. People watching the videos. 
People walk, watching me in the street, they judge. But I don't really care. We need each other. We gotta learn to respect each other. And through manners, dress, and good breath, we allow people to receive our best energy by showing up in a way that's digestible for them. Done.